What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody thrilling in today my people? Top of the morning. You already know we creating momentum. Before I get into this video, you know, all glory to the most high God. You know what I mean? All glory to the most high God. I'm up. The sun is shining. I'm feeling amazing right now. So we just going to get right into the video. I hope y'all feeling good. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Listen, the spirit of discernment when you retain it. You are on this journey. When you see more attention, your spirit of discernment is going to skyrocket, okay? It's going to skyrocket. And what do I mean by that? So you're going to be able to know. For example, let's say, right? Wake up, start praying, think the most high for another day, right? And you decide, you know what? I don't really party like that. I'm going to go party. The amazing thing about this journey is that it enhances your abilities, meaning so when i say that you know your spirit of discernment is going to increase you're going to understand that certain situations you are not going to be able to be around certain things you know what i'm saying and not the fact that you can't be around it but your spirit is going to pick up on certain energy your spirit is going to allow you to walk into a place and say you know what something don't feel right i'm a bounce right for me i can't even do the same stuff that i used to do there's so many things that I used to do that I can no longer do because I'm on this journey, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm on the path of righteousness. I can basically no longer be able to do the same stuff that I used to do. It's just, it doesn't, my, my spirit picks up on these things. I'm not, I'm not, it doesn't allow me to do these things. The Holy Spirit is convicting me, you know what I'm saying? So I can no longer do the things that I thought that I could just do anymore. Uh, it could also be you being a, around a particular person. Your spirit will pick up if this if this person's energy is just not good. But that's when you're retaining. And, and that's why I talk about Christ and semen retention so much. Because for me, a man could give his life to Christ. You know what I mean? And he could not be on this journey. And, you know, he can still have a relationship with Christ. That's amazing. But you're missing out if you don't have christ in your life if you're not if you don't have a relationship with the most high and then you're not retaining you're missing out these are two key components that a lot of spiritual men don't 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 really speak about and that to me is is, is kind of like silly christ is the reason why I'm, I'm even on this journey reading the word of god was the reason why I said, you know what? Wow, this all makes sense. Like these two tied into each other. I speak about all the scriptures. Flee from useful lust. Don't give your strength onto a woman which which destroys kings. Flee from sexual immorality. You know, like there's, there's so many different scriptures that tie into this journey. And even in the Bible it says, when a man is reborn in, in uh, Christ, a seed must remain in him. Come on. Once I, I realized that, I said, wow, these are the two components. Jesus and semen retention is the two things that I need in my life and I need to be building and and creating momentum shout out to my brother Nana the soul he made a I was watching a YouTube show to him where he said how when you're retaining especially if you're going on streaks you're building momentum and that's what I'm doing right now right now I'm literally building momentum like I'm up early like I worked last night I had to close my store down now I got home kind of late too but then I got a four four like four and a half hours of sleep to wake up now to do another video for y'all i'm creating momentum if i wasn't retaining if i was watching the adult sites and i was fapping do you really think i'll be able to be waking up this early no there's no way there's no way that i'll be able to wake up this early to to, to still creating momentum to you know still building i'll be telling people all the time that when you start retaining and you're going towards those months building momentum you're creating that energy you're you're telling your brain this is what we're going to be doing the next few weeks the next few months you're you're creating that energy already you're creating that snowball effect so this is why i'm trying to tell people like when i have off days it's not really my off day because i'm still building i'm doing videos um i'm i'm, I'm reading scriptures I'm, I'm trying to continue to stay locked into this like this is it's, it's like a no day off for me when you're retaining there's no days off all right so the spirit of discernment you, you're not going to be able to be around certain people when you start retaining because your energy is going to be different. Your energy is becoming more pure. You're living more righteous. 
you know, that, that light is going to be too bright. A lot of people still got demons in them. Your light is going gonna, is gonna to mess with the, their inner demons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you're going to have that spirit of discernment to be like, oh, snap. Like, certain times you'll get around certain people and you'll try to be like, wait, is it me? No, it's not you. You will not second guess yourself. That spirit of discernment is going to let you know if, if it's your energy or other people's energy. But most of the time, when you're attaining and you're on this righteous path, you're not the issue. I promise you that. I promise you that. I'm telling you this straight. You are not the issue. You are not the, the, the person most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Especially like, let's, let's say like if you just started out, maybe, you know, you, you're still working through a lot of those um, moments where you was watching the hub and releasing a seed and it was causing you to have a lot of just weird energy, bad vibes. But the longer that you attain, you will be able to heal yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to heal, body start going back to normal. That spirit of discernment skyrockets. This is a spiritual practice. So when you're doing spiritual things, you will be getting your spiritual abilities. This is not like superpowers. This is real stuff. Like this ain't no fake stuff. Like, but the thing about it is that if you've never retained at least for a couple weeks to a couple months or even years, what I'm saying is gonna go over your head. You're not gonna be able to understand anything I'm saying. It's gonna sound like I'm speaking a different language. You're just gonna know. The spirit of discernment on this journey, especially when you're retaining for a long period of time, you are gonna discern who's right for you and, and, and who's not. You could walk into a room, be with somebody, and you're gonna tell off rip if this person has good energy and if they, you know, like who you are or if they don't. It's no second guessing it no more. There's no, oh, does this person like me? Am I cool with this person? You're gonna know. People will expose themselves to you when you're on this journey. They will literally start you know, showing you who they truly are because you're living clean, you're, you're living pure, you're on this righteous path, you're doing a spiritual thing. When you're around people that are more worldly, right, and that are not living the, the best, that doesn't mean that you're better than them. It just means that it just puts you a little more on a higher plateau, if that makes sense. You're not better than them. It's just like, for ex example, right, I could be around people that are smoking and I don't smoke. That doesn't mean that I'm better than you because I don't smoke, but my body is not going to deal with certain things that you would deal with because you're putting toxics in your body, you know? So you might be going through daily headaches from like maybe smoking cigarettes or, or even drinking, but I don't deal with headaches because I don't do that stuff. Does that make me better than you? No, it just makes me not have to deal with those type of things, if that makes sense. For me, I can tell on this journey. I can tell who's really for me on this journey. I could tell if, if I shouldn't go somewhere. Let's say, for example, I decide, you know what? I want to go to some, some random place. My spirit will, will pick up and be like, nah, I don't think that you, you should go there. You know, but when you're releasing, you're not even connected to yourself so much to where you you'll be able to pick up on that. But the spirit of discernment from that you get from retaining, it's it's just different. Like this is a benefit that that comes with retaining. You're gonna pick up on things naturally. You know what I mean? You you'll probably have a dream about it and you'll see it happen because you'll be that connected to yourself when when you're retaining. The spirit of discernment is so powerful on this. So you'll be able to discern your girlfriend or wife. The longer that you go, you'll, you'll, you'll know if this woman that you're talking to or you're interested is the one for you. You'll know, you'll feel it in your spirit, man. It's no, it's no questions, it's none of that. The Holy Spirit will put it on your spirit and you will literally know if the woman that you're talking to or you're dating is the one that you should marry. It's not, it's not hard. But some, some men don't even know because they're not retaining. You know what I mean? They're, they're looking for other people and, and other humans. Yo, I need your advice. Is this girl right for me? Do you think I should marry? It's like, when you're retaining, you don't gotta ask nobody that. You should be asking questions to the most high so he could put it on your spirit and then give you the knowledge or the answers that you need. You could also find what you need in the Bible. When you're retaining, the word of God connects with you on a whole different level. I'm telling you fellas, the spirit of discernment, if you want to be able to discern situations, people, and even yourself, when you are on this journey, the spirit of discernment is not also things that's outside of you. It's also internally. You will have that spirit of discernment to know like, I shouldn't be eating this, or I shouldn't be eating this late, or I shouldn't be speaking like this, I shouldn't be treating people like this, you know? Some people be like, oh, 
that's just, you know, simple stuff. You don't need to be retaining to get that. Like I said, the Bible says that a wicked man will not be able to connect to the word of God because he's so worldly. He's already into the world so deep that anything, whether it be the gospel or anything about Christ or anything that's like spiritual related, he will not be able to understand it because he will see that it's foolish to him. So me speaking of seeming retention is foolish to the man that is not retaining. But I appreciate y'all. I'm about to head to work in a bit. I just wanted to get this video out to y'all. Uh, I think one today will be good. Topic of the day. But this video, your spirit of discernment will increase. So appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace be on to each and every one of y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And until next time, much love.